Hi guys, welcome back to Chemistry Live YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how to write the mechanism of a reaction. So this will be useful for BSc and MSc chemistry students under CBCS syllabus. So we all know what is a reaction. So the reactants react with the reagents to give rise to the product. Usually the reactants are written in left hand side, products are written on the right hand side and the reagents are written on the or just above the arrow, reaction arrow. Then we should know what is a mechanism. So mechanism is the movement of a double headed arrow or single headed arrow so that how bonds are broken and new bonds are formed leading to formation of product from reactant with the help of reagents which may be multi-step or one-step process. So it will be interesting to know what are the symbols used in writing a reaction. So this first one, this is called reaction arrow. So which means the reaction takes place in forward direction. Similarly this two-headed curved arrow. So which suggests that the direction on which the bond is breaking. So, we suggest the movement of a two electrons takes place. Similarly, here the curved single headed arrow or a fish hooked arrow which means only movement of one electron will take place. So, this one the delocalization arrow which is used for the delocalization or the resonance stabilized structures. This one, the last one, equilibrium arrow which means the two structures are interconverting with each other. So this is the simple reaction AX giving rise to product BY in the presence of reagent. So usually the AX contains a bond. Generally in chemistry we have so many types of bonds but here we concentrate on ionic bond and covalent bond. When the reactant AX contain the ionic bond so they will simply exist as ions A plus X minus or A minus X plus. When the bond is covalent bond, so what is a covalent bond? When each atom will share one electron and they will go for a sharing, then a covalent bond is formed and that is represented by a line, so a single line X and generally covalent bond is of two types. Polar covalent bond and non-polar covalent bond. So when the electronegativity difference between two atom will be different or they are, they are having different electronegativity value then that lead to polar covalent bond. When the electronegativity of atom A and X will be same then that lead to non-polar covalent bond. So this two-headed curved arrow shows the direction of the bond cleavage. So that is called heterolytic cleavage. So on which atom this bond is breaking, so that gets both the electrons and negative charge and other atom will be positively charged A plus. So this X minus is called a nucleophile and A plus is electrophile. Similarly, if the bond of X will break on atom A. So A will get negative charge with both the electrons and X plus will be the electrophile. So generally what is a nucleophile? So nucleophile who can attack. So it can be negatively charged species with both the electrons or neutral species like water, ammonia or it can be electron rich species like double bonds or triple bonds. Similarly, electrophiles generally are positively charged species or electron deficient species. So now we can write in general nucleophile as Nu- with two electron and electrophile as E+. So it is very important to remember that that nucleophile is electron rich in nature. So nucleophile only attack to the electrophile. Electrophile cannot attack the nucleophile. So this is the basic thing you have to remember. So here you can see the lone pair of electron on nucleophile will attack the electrophile E+, giving rise to nucleophile-electrophile bond 
or here you can see a minus nucleophile and x plus electrophile so you get a x bond so here i have shown e plus cannot attack nucleophile so this process does not occur so this is wrong so when we take one example rx in the presence of reagent sodium hydroxide it would give rise to alcohol roh plus nax so this is the proposed reaction mechanism so sodium hydroxide we know that is a ionic compound so that give rise to na plus and oh minus ion so when the reaction will occur in multi step reaction it will consist of different elementary steps so rx first this bond will break on atom x because its electronegativity is higher so usually the bond which contain different atoms whose electronegativity will be higher on that side the bond will break because it will attract the shear pair of electron towards itself according to the definition of electronegativity so this give rise to x minus with both the electrons and r plus so we have in the reaction medium oh minus ion so nucleophile will attack lone pair of oh minus ion will attack the electrophile r plus giving rise to the product roh and in reaction medium we have na plus and x minus that lead to nax and in single step reaction where the bond breaking and bond making is simultaneous or continuous process so here you can see oh minus will attack r and this rx bond will break on x so giving rise to roh product plus x minus similarly in another process when the ax reactant the bond cleaves in homolytic fashion so here the single headed ro is represented so each will show that uh, in homolytic fashion each atom will get one electron each so a dot and x dot that is called free radicals and during the radical recombination process a dot x dot can recombine to give rise to again a x bond or a dot a dot can re recombine to give a2 molecule and x dot x dot can recombine to give rise to x2 as product so here is one problem for you guys so when cyclohexen will react with the reagent chlorine in presence of light so what would be the product and you have to write the possible or plausible mechanism by using free radical pathways so i would like to request all of you to join our channel and i will be happy if you click on subscribe and like button so this is a simple step towards e learning making life better so thank you all for watching